I'm really struggling with this new eat room setup. I can't find anywhere to put you and I don't like holding my camera. Guys, what do we do? Guys, what do we do? Do you have to go over there? Look how far you are. It's like, look how crazy I look. Look at my hair. <laughs> I think this is why I don't want you guys to see me. Should we just zoom in? Okay. Hi guys. Welcome back. Today is Thursday. Tuesday. <laughs> This Thursday is still be in bed. It's Tuesday. I hate when your phone charges if you have iPhones and it just gets rid Oh, Tuesday the 19th. There we go. I don't like this zooming in. I'm sorry. We're going to have to go back out of it. Just a bit. There we go. At 25 past 7 in the morning, I have just woke up and had my shower. And now I'm just about to get ready and start my day. I've got uni today, my hands are freezing, I'm so scared to get makeup because my hands are so cold. Um, yeah, I've got uni today. I don't know why, I feel like in a really good mood, like I feel like okay about being awake at this time and I feel like, you know, maybe the world isn't such a bad place kind of thing. Whereas usually I'm just like, go away don't talk to me um i don't know why i feel extremely good today but i'm not gonna question it too much because that's when you start remembering the shit i suppose but i don't really have that much bad things right now in my life um i wanted to tell you guys basically um Last night I was just chilling out, you know, this is after I said goodnight to you, me and Tom were literally just chilling on the sofa just watching telly, which is literally just what we always do, which is why I was like, oh, when you do an uh, evening routine, I'm like, guys, I literally edit, I finish editing, I cook, and I sit, like, that is all, <laughs> um, but I, I think I may do one, or a morning one, but I digress, as per usual, um, Daniela messages me and she's like, please um, apply for this. So I click the link and it's a um, best beauty vlog. Um, um, I don't know if you guys remember my vlogtober day two and three. So this is when I first started vlogging. Um, I went to an event in London. It was actually this event. Um, and... In one of the sections is like just for like vloggers and bloggers and all like that um and the other event is more like a trade show kind of like imats and basically they give out awards and um for different things and they've just introduced one which is best beauty vlog and daniela was like oh my god apply and i was like oh my god okay i was actually like having a panic attack applying for this thing like you have to fill out like a little like why you think you deserve to win and everything. I was like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I filled it out, I haven't yet applied. I'm gonna um, just like double check over and everything. Like I'm, I'm reading so much into this. I'm one of those people that like, I feel like everybody is, you know, like you don't like bigging up yourself. Like I'll do it on camera as like a joke. I'll be like, oh, my face looks so flaky. Well, that's a joke, it is flaky. <laughs> See, I'm just hilarious. Um, no, like, but when you have to like actually write about yourself and like why you deserve to win something, like you know, when like I don't know if many of you guys went to uni or what, but like you know when you have to do your personal statement, I was just like, I don't know. My teacher was just like, so if you just write like mm, all the good things about you, I was like, I don't think you can write funny shit like me. <laughs> like, I'm more of like. I wouldn't say a comedian, but I'm not like someone who will be like, oh, I achieved this grade at school and I'm amazing at um, all this kind of stuff. Like, I'm just kind of like, um, I can master a smoky eye and that's about as far as we go. But I don't know. I am going to apply for it though, definitely, because it's still an opportunity and like, I'm one of those people if like if it doesn't set you back it's only making you better so right now if i apply and i don't win or i don't get anywhere in it 
I'm not going to be any worse off than what I am right now, which what I am right now is fine for me, if that makes sense. But yeah, and then like, it really got me thinking like about like my YouTube quality and you know, everything I'm putting out and I don't know, I'm really happy with how far I've come. Like, I can't lie to you guys. I, oh my God, one second. My concealer's on my bottom row, there we go. I have, I have, I have become quite addicted and somewhat um, obsessed with YouTube and beauty and everything and I just sit and I watch it for hours like I don't even know what it is I always want to know what the best thing is and I always want to know how to do it and I don't know I just always have been like that whatever it is I'm interested in I will in a way do like market research with it like I need to know how to strive to be better and I feel like I do that so much. I spend so long doing it. I don't know what this massive thing on my forehead was, by the way. Like, that thing there. I just woke up and it's just been like a bump. There's not like a spot or anything. How annoying. That is what concealer is for. Oh my god, one of my friends was like, so what's a really good everyday foundation? And I was like, oh, I really like the Nars Sheer Glow and the Giorgio Armani. And like, I'd say those two like are my favourites. She was like, drugstore, and I was like, hmm. I was like, I like the H&M one. <laughs> um, I know it's like a massive joke thing here on my channel about drugstore situations. I do strive to find drugstore products. I'm not going to lie. I do go into Superdrug quite often. I live um, in town. And there are two super drugs and there's a massive, massive boots. And I do go in there quite often. And I think the thing for me with super drug and foundation is I am now 22 years of age, okay? I went through that struggle of having the red foundations, having the slag lines, having foundation that just did not work for me and did not look good for me. I've done that struggle, okay? I have come out the other end. I deserve NARS sheer glow foundation after the crap I had. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that drug, drugstore foundations and shit are bad. I'm just saying they're bad for my tone. And you guys know how sensitive my skin is anyway. And I'm allergic to a lot of the higher end foundations as well, so that's, I know I tend to touch on it a lot, but that is pretty much it there. If the, I want to try, when it comes out in the UK, the L'Oreal Cushion one, that Jacqueline, I think Jacqueline Hill's talked about it, um, and it's basically just like a cushion, you press your brush and then you, and then you put it on your face, I do want to try that. I don't really like the True Match because I don't like the finish of it. I have tried the Lumi and I don't see a difference, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, do you guys not think that Max Factor is like extremely expensive to be in Superdrug? Because I do. Oh, yeah. I'm just drinking my protein shake because my weight is just becoming such an issue for me lately. <laughs> um, and plus, in the drugstore, you know the L'Oreal Lumi Machine? Let me find it. This tiny, tiny thing is £10 anyway. So, what is, is it just because it sells in Superdrug then it means it's affordable? Or is there a price limit that we're talking about? What foundation did I want to use today? Oh no, I had one in mind. I can't remember it. Oh, I should have given away one of my salt, my Chanel ones in the decluttering video. I might just do it separately for you guys at a different time. I can't remember which foundation I want to use. And if I move on and I forget which one, then I'm going to be really sad when I remember. I don't know why I've gone really posh when I remember. Guys, I forgot which one it is. I've been using the Clinique one lately. Um, and I, um, my skin's a lot more itchy for some reason. 
like here is really itchy around my nose I have that bump on my face and I've got a couple of like little red marks um, I don't know if that's Clinique or what but that's happened okay I can't remember which one it is so I'm just gonna go for these ones um but I don't know if I would necessarily um blame that on the cl Clinique or if it's just my face but yes yeah, so um I thought I'd just come on here and just say hey and that I'm alive burly I'm so funny, I'm so good. Um, but yeah, how is everyone doing? How was your weekends? I know by the time you see this, it's like a Wednesday and you're like, Sophie, isn't it a bit late? What is everyone doing this weekend? I am going to Birmingham, I think I said. It is my nan's one year death anniversary on Friday. And me and my brother have decided to, um, go to get her ashes on Saturday um, back in Leicester where she's from um, and sort out some family things because my brother goes traveling for a whole year in I want to say March but I don't think that's right let's say May I always get March and May confused Rose's birthday is March, Daniela's birthday is May. My two best friends have to have the most weirdest months to have birthdays. Why, girls? Why? Um, and yeah, so we wanted like minimize the family stuff because my dad was one of those people, like my dad would be like 60. How old are you, daddy? What year are we in? 2016 now. And he was born in 52, so he would be 64 this year. So at the moment he's 63. Um, and I don't know if it's people from that era or what, but when he got like his camera, he was one of those people who took like a thousand photos of like one thing. Like he made like a whole photo album of his first car. And I think it just sounds like so bizarre to us because we can just do that like on our phones and it doesn't seem like that much, but to get them all printed off and then he'll print like three of the same photos and give them to like my nan and granddad and then my other nan. And like me and my brother are just like, we have so many of the same photos. So we are um, just gonna go through some of those. And we found, well my brother's found some um, videos as in, you know, those black video things. Yeah, he's found some of those, but we're going to convert them to DVDs and he's already converting one. Um, oh, by the way, if you're interested, this was the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. I have two shades, so I just put them both on. Um, and it gives me the perfect colour. Um, he's already converting one just to see what it looks like. And then um, a couple of them don't have any um, labels or names on them or anything. And I'm going to... Ro um, Rose's new flatmate, Isabel, who you guys have met a couple of times, has... A video player um and I'm gonna just watch them on there to see what they are and I'll tell my brother if it's anything weird or anything naughty or anything dirty he's paying for my therapist bill <laughs> but um yeah so we're gonna be doing that it's gonna be really nice hopefully just to spend the weekend well the day with him and then Sunday's per usual we're gonna go to Tom's family um, to this is the Bobby Brown foundation stick. I've tried it out the past couple of days. Um, I was worried because it's not really that cool tone, and I was worried it wouldn't look good for contouring. But my face has been flaky, so I'm happy. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Tom's parents and his aunties for. Sunday dinner, so that's my weekend. Shit, it's 22 already. Come on, Phil. Um, that's my weekend sort of planned. Um, on Friday, we, well, wet Wednesday, I think it is, Tom's driving lesson finishes when my uni finishes, and the instructor drops him at my uni, which is perfect. So we're going to grab lunch and then we're going to go to IKEA because I need to get um, like a shelf, sh like not a shelf unit just a shelf 
like singular. And I need to get a um, wash bin. I really want a wicker wash bin, like a wash, ba wash basket. What is a wash basket? Um, and we need to get something else. We will need to look at cult wrecks for the hallway as well. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Friday night. Um, when Rose and I lived together, one of her friends came around and we had a Monopoly night, like a games night, and we cooked it. Well, I think Rose cooked dinner, actually, sorry, not me. Um, and we kind of bet for money a bit, only a fiver, which I won. Um, so we're just going to have like a games night again, like, because she went to, Rose's friend went um, travelling um, to Aussie. So I will be getting some hints and tips from her for when I go. Um, and we're just gonna have a nice game night, girls night, Tom's not invited, <laughs> but it's only, you know, upstairs, so it's not that much of a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh. So I will see you guys as the day progresses. I don't know how much I'll see you today because I'm at uni until five, and this vlog is already 16 minutes long, so it might just be this and then me saying hi and bye later. We'll have to see. So, see you guys. Uno momento. Hello, everybody. So, what is that? Is that like a shadow? I don't know. Hi, everyone. I'm back from uni. Tom's got work tonight, which means I need to start cooking dinner now. I'm going to try and make salt and pepper chicken. I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but trial and error that is what life is about so yeah i'm gonna try and cook that now and i will keep you updated with how i go yes i'm scared yes it's 5 p.m i finished cooking i always make a mess please tell me that somebody else is a messy cooker and it was really nice actually i really enjoyed it i had to cook it quite fast because tom was going to work and i was running a bit behind schedule but overall it tastes really nice so i'm really impressed Go me Hi guys, I'm blurry. I'm blurry. So, look how cute I look. Oh! So, I've been thinking about my 1000 subscriber giveaway and I don't know if I've mentioned this to you or what the situation is with it. Uh, basically, I was torn up whether to do four, like all of the naked palettes and then some other stuff or to get some Oh, my boob just chilling. Like, go, go down. I'm like, shh. Um, excuse the boob situation. Just pretend it's fat. Probably is. <laughs> anyway, um, I was thinking to do single eyeshadows instead from Makeup Geek because you guys know that I use so much Makeup Geek and I use so much Makeup Geek, yeah, basically, um, in my tutorials. So. It would be good if you guys had like the shades that I use a lot of. So like Peach Smoothie, um, Cocoa Bear, uh, Americanos in there, Bitten. Um, I can't remember all the other ones off the top of my head. But I think I was going to do about six of them or something. And then put them in like a little Z palette. So that you guys have like a start at ones as well. And then I was going to get a shade from MAC. I think I was going to get Espresso. Is that a MAC shade or is that... A thingy shade like a, a warmy deepish brown so that like you guys can do always do like the basis of my looks because I use those those eyeshadows like religiously really so let me know if you'd prefer that or if you would prefer a naked palette I don't mind getting naked palettes but I feel like getting um, makeup geek ones might be better and I will be buying you like little Z palettes to put them in and everything um, I'm also gonna get you guys um, Still gonna be four winners. I'm gonna get like four benefit roller lashes, four Kat Von D tattoo liners, um, some Urban Decay. Um, oh my god, oh, there we go. I've got like I think my mascara is transferred. Urban Decay, um, liner. I might get like four Mac Saw pencil lip pencils, but I don't know for sure yet because that's like my favorite lip pencil. Um, 
I can't remember what else I was just going to get, but I was just going to get, like, bases so that you guys, like, can always, like, attempt to do some of my looks and, like, oh, I was going to get, like, another eyeshadow that was, like, a um, highlight shade. I was going to get one of Makeup Geek's Ice Queen, which I use as well, just so, like, you guys are still able to, like, keep up with, like, how and what I use on my face because it's all well and good me saying, guys, Makeup Geek is amazing, Makeup Geek is amazing, and you guys are just like, yeah, but we don't have that. And... I want you guys to know, like, I watch YouTubers and I don't have stuff that they have. Just because I use Peach Smoothie doesn't mean that you have to use Peach Smoothie. Just because I use a certain soft brown doesn't mean you have to use that one. You can use whichever one you want. Like, the thing that you guys have got to remember is my skin and my eye colour will determine how an eyeshadow will look at me. And that's what you guys kind of need to remember as well. So it's all good me saying, guys, Peach Smoothie is the greatest transition shade. Yeah, for me. For someone who is like Daniela's tone, if I put Peach Smoothie on her, you'll be able to notice it. It will be like a lid colour, if anything. Do you know what I mean? So, but I still wanted to get everyone one. Not everyone one, like four. The four winners one. Um, just so, like, that they, like, you guys can, like, be doing what I'm doing if that makes sense but if you guys prefer the naked palettes then I can get them but I just feel like I don't know I feel like there's limitations to the naked palettes so some of the naked palettes you can't wear every day whereas like the makeup geek ones that I want to get oh I'm gonna get desert nights desert sands you know that the caramelly mustardy brown color that I use all the time and then I was gonna get everyone one of these. I'm not, it's like faded off now because I've had it on since like 8 a.m. Um, the MUA uh, liquid lipstick that I was talking about in yesterday's vlog um, and like Maxor pencil. So just like you guys have like a basis. Like I think I said before, I'm not gonna get any um, foundations or concealers or powders or anything just because of like if a girl who's lighter than me or if a girl who's darker than me wins, um, they'll be like, well, what the hell am I gonna do with her? NC44.5, which is what I am. Fucking hell. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I was just going to tell you guys, is basically I have been thinking about the giveaway. I'm not going to purchase anything just yet. I'm going to wait till this vlog goes up and hear your guys' response. So, yeah. I think the giveaway is due next week, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, I'm this week already. I haven't changed pages. I haven't changed pages. Oh my god. No. The giveaway is the first week of April. I think it's the third that it's meant to go up. Because I've got a few ones that go up before that. So, yeah. If you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the Naked palettes or, like, your own little Z palette, then, yeah, let me know. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh, my eyes are burning, man. So tired. Jesus. Help me. I'm instantly regretting clearing this bed. I'm currently tucked up, duvet and all, makeup off, PJs on, tucked up in the spare bed, about to have a nap. My eyes are burning. So, Kaylee, who is one of my subscribers, you're going to be very happy, honey. I have just edited my decluttering video. I was like, crap, what video have I just edited? I have just edited my decluttering cluttering video. I'm just about to add like the text at the top that says Sophie B Beauty and then it's going to get um, exported out of iMo, uh, Final Cut Pro even, and then it is going to be uploaded to YouTube. It's not going live today, don't worry. It's going to go live on the date that I said, which I think was the 3rd of that month. That's next. February, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so stay tuned for that, guys. I told you guys I would let you know when it comes up. And I thought that I'd show you guys the intro so you guys can get real excited about what's available. So much stuff. Look how I spoil you guys. My god. So, yeah, that's all done now. Um, I'm just gonna export it all now. I'm talking to my brother about um, 
Look at my hair, I just look a mess all the time. Yesterday's vlog, I was like, I love loungewear. I love looking a state. I'm not gonna lie, like how I look now is how I love to look. I do get like, sort of like embarrassed, like being on camera like this, cause I'm like, these guys are gonna meet me in real life and be like, who the fuck is this girl? Like, she scrubs up well because I always look like this. But, um, I don't even know what I was saying anymore now. I uh, have been speaking to my brother about uh, my nan's ashes and scattering in the, uh, scattering them and everything. And we're gonna do it in this park that was by her house when she grew up. Um, and my brother's having like a hissy fit about it. He's like, it's so small, we're gonna get noticed and all this. Cause scattering ashes is, um, I don't think it's legal actually. I think it might be illegal. I think cause it's like, um, is it littering? I don't know, but I texted him and I was like, John, I am a pro at funerals and the aftermath. Um, I was like, I know how to scatter an ash. And then I was like, by the way, you won't have this problem with me. And all of our family have been cremated, like my mom, my dad, my nan, my granddad, my other nan, uh, we've all been cremated. Uh, we've all, they've all been cremated and me and John are probably gonna get cremated as well just because it's just easier. Like, I don't like the thought of graves because yeah, it's all well and good people going for like the first like two or three years, but then after that, it's kind of just like, um, and I just like to be, I like um, cremations, I like, ashes I like having that sort of thing but I digress as always which is why I love vlogs imagine if I did this on my, my makeup tutorials I was like I'm gonna blend this eyeshadow and then we're gonna talk about death like that's why I think I love vlogs so much because I love just chatting to you guys about diddly squat anyway I said to my brother I was like oh you won't ha oh, you won't have this problem with me and he was like oh you're not gonna get cremated and I was like uh how yeah I'm sticking up with a Bradburn tradition. Just like, oh, so why won't we have this problem? And I was like, when I die, I want you guys to bake a cake. The choice is yours. I prefer chocolate. And then I was like, and I want you to eat me. And I don't understand why this is an unreasonable request on my behalf. I just want my family to enjoy me the way I enjoyed life, which was eating, evidently. You know, you did get all this juiciness from <laughs> not eating. Um, and he's just like, I'm not eating you. And I was like, you are. And we're just kind of in like a little, like a little argument about it. And he's like, I refuse. And I was like, I will haunt you, John. I will, I was like, I will haunt you. And he was just like, I, I can't do that. It's disgusting. And I was like, it's not disgusting. It's family. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're just having a little, a uh, funny moment, so I just thought I'd share with you guys. Oh my god. I didn't even. Oh my god, okay, I'm not even gonna just find that. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy talking to my brother. It's always funny. We always like bicker about something or laugh about something. I hate Kaylee and I hate Hannah because both of you had that liquid lipstick I was talking about in yesterday's vlog and nobody told me about it. Why? Like, you guys know that that is like my type of shade. Why? That's shady. That's shady shade. Um, but I'm glad you guys like it. I told you guys, honestly, it's so beautiful. And I'm thinking if I can get four of them to include them in my giveaway, I, I am blown away. Oh, let me just show you guys my colours that I was thinking to get you guys for the Makeup Geek thing. So we've got Peach Smoothie, um, Desert Sands, Americano, uh, Ice Queen, Corrupt, P Bitten, and then um, Zoe for 2 to 1 Look Soft Crease Brushes for Everyone, a Z Palette, an Eyeliner, a Liquid Liner, a Mascara, 
and then I was hoping to get that but unless they have it in my super drug um, it will just be with the other things so let me know if you want that or if you want the naked thanks guys okay guys so I was originally gonna wait until this dried so that I can peel it off on camera because I find them quite satisfying to watch but I don't know how long it takes it's, it is a peel off I swear but I just mustn't be ready. Oh! Ugh! I want to stop. Pick. Ah! Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay, guys, I'm going to call it here because this is just not going very well. So, <laughs> so ignore all this and I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Bye!